All right, so what we're going to do next is actually learn how to search for plugins. Um, so we're going to go to Add New. This will bring up the search page. And what we're going to do, we're going to play around with uh, some plugins that we could, could search for. Let's say I wanted to add a shopping cart or a PayPal. We got to spell it right, Jess. PayPal. All right. So once we have that in there, it's going to pull up um, several different PayPal um, apps that you can actually download. Let's try another one, Shopping Cart. By clicking on Shopping Cart, you can get a list of all available apps or plugins that are Shopping Cart compatible for your website. Don't forget, look at the reviews, site installs. You want to make sure that you're getting um, a reputable one. Let's talk about opt-in or look for opt-in. Let's say we wanted to add an, add an opt-in um, form to our site. These would be some um, compatible plugins for you. Do your research. Make sure you're looking for what you want, you need for your site. So let's look at marketing. That's another example. So what comes up with marketing? Pages and pages full of marketing options. Make sure that you do your research and look through it to make sure that you're getting what you want and need. So I want to recommend Broken Link Checker as a uh, plugin that you need to add. This is helpful if you have a blog that's going to have links. Maybe you're going to be an affiliate and for another company and you want to make sure that your links are actually um, working and working right. If you have SEO set up, it'll be difficult for your audience to find you or to find the information that you're linking to if your links are broken. So um, what I'm doing now is just going through the more details just to make sure it's going to do everything I think it's going to do. Does it have easy installation? Looks like it does. Um, what I like most about this um, checker, it's easy to install. So I'm going to install it now and then I'm going to activate it. Once it's activated, I think that's it. There's nothing much more that I need to do, but I'm going to check the settings just in case. <laughs> just in case I don't have to put in an API code or anything. And like I thought, I do not. It looks like the sites or this plugin is going to check for links every 72 hours. Um, I do want to be notified via email if there's a broken link. I don't anticipate this happening much, so I'm just going to add in my information in hopes to be notified so I can easily correct it. I also want to notify the author if someone is writing on my page about those broken links as well. And I want the search engines to stop following those broken links so therefore it won't redirect my audience. All right, so I saved those options. Um, I'm going to look at some of the other areas that this app offers. I recommend that when you, whenever you download a plugin that you do that. You make sure you go through the settings, look at um, some of the functionality to make sure that you're customizing it the way that you should use it or you want to use it. It's, it takes a second to do it um, and that's pretty much it. So um, I showed you how to search for plugins. We downloaded a few and we actually did an overview of the website or of the WordPress um, back in. We didn't dig deep into anything, but I didn't want to overwhelm you. I figured we can take small steps in doing that. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I am available or check into our Facebook book, uh, Facebook group. Talk to you soon.